Okay, welcome everybody. My name is Lisa. Welcome to Pressure Crisp. We're going to be using the outdoor, oh, I can't, it's too long of a name, but it's the Ninja Wood Fire Outdoor Oven. I'm going to be making my own sauce today. I got some summer style, San Marzano style uh, tomatoes. These are crushed and we're going to cook up our own sauce because I think it's going to be better, so much better. So I'm going to just make this. This is just a recipe I found online. I don't have all the ingredients. It's um, Chef John. I'm sure you guys heard of Chef John. I'm just taking his recipe and just tweaking it just a little bit. That is gorgeous. Okay, so I got to get this started because it's hot. It's 100 degrees today. So I'm cheating. You can get whole anchovies, but I couldn't find them, so I found some anchovy paste. So what I'm going to do is uh, try to puncture. Let's see. There we go. Thinking about that much right there. It's probably like three quarters teaspoon to a tablespoon. All right, so to get things rolling here, I'm just going to turn this up just a bit. Just want to cook this anchovy paste a bit, just not not that much. You guys won't even know it's in here. You really, really won't. You don't even taste it. Come on. Let me crack this up a little in here, and then we're, then we're going to turn it down. Because we're going to simmer the sauce probably like for 40 minutes. Okay, so finally we're getting a little bit of heat here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this down just a bit. And I'm using a frying pan because I really don't have a decent pot. All I have is my camping stuff and it's not really good enough. All right. So if you have the fresh garlic, I would go ahead and do about two, te two teaspoons of minced garlic. Or you can go higher if you want to. It's all up to you. I'm going to turn the fan on because it's going to smell. What I'm going to do is take the summer simmers on out crushed tomatoes. We're going to pour them right in there. Look at that. This is oh. Let's make sure all oh, crap. Let's make sure all that goodness is out of here. Just going to mix that right in there. Now I'm going to add some black pepper. I like a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to add some granulated garlic. I wish I had fresh, just kind of, I don't know, just kind of ruins it, I guess. I really wanted the fresh garlic in there. Now, Chef John, he goes ahead and adds um, red pepper flakes. I don't know where mine are. I don't see them up on the shelf here. So I'm not going to add it. I am going to add a little bit of salt, not much. Probably like a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to turn the fan on shortly because it's getting hot in here. Mix this up, and we're just going to simmer this for about 35-40 minutes. That's all. Oh, I forgot something. Good lord here. I'm going to take some oregano. I forgot. There you go. Probably like a half a teaspoon of oregano. We're going to add that right into the mix. Give this a stir. Now you can go ahead and add some sugar and baking soda. I don't have any baking soda in the house. I'm trying to think. I do have a little bit of sugar. I'm going to dig that out because I forgot what I did with it because I don't use sugar every day. Um, I might add, or I may not add any. It depends if I can find it or not. So the place looks like a bomb hit it, everybody. Let me turn this off so you guys can hear me. So I'm playing, you guys can't see me, but I'm playing in the kitchen. Well, in here and then out there. I'm trying to make calzones without burning the crust because here's the 
here's the first try. Five minutes, it created this bottom like this. However, I did use the oven to cook pizza. So what I'm thinking is, I think that's what did it. The stone was too hot. I think if you're just making straight up calzones and switching to pizza, it'll be okay. All right, there we go. So now, and that's this. It's a mess. Handful of cheese here. Check on there if you guys can see this. <laughs> uh, where are those onions? Now I'm using my fingers, everybody, so don't be grossed out. This is for me, so. These are peppers that I sauteed in olive oil and salt and pepper. So I think that adds like a really nice flavor to the peppers, but you have to make sure they're cooked first. Oh, I meant to put ricotta cheese on first. Whoopsies. All right, let's see here. Let me grab some ricotta. There we go. Oops. And since I opened the package, let me just, uh, there's a fly in here, everybody. Sorry. And a bit more cheese. Hopefully we'll be able to get this closed. There we go. Squish. You're going to pull and basically tuck this. So it should work. There we go. Press. And I just take my thumb, almost like a pie dough or a tart or something along those lines. You guys see that? So I did set it up. Nice. What I like to do is put, just put three slots in the top. Okay, now the oven is on bake, which I'll show you guys hopefully, maybe. So I have it set, it's on, you um, guys can see, it's on bake, I have it set for 500. And the time, I was just um, fooling around with the time. Now we're gonna try the 10 minutes, 500. That one should be a little bit cooler. Go back up to 10, just for easy math. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that we, we, we can actually do the calzones. I just gotta come up with a correct temperature and also should I use the stone, not use the stone? So, just questions that need to be answered. I'm glad I did this experiment. So you guys can, hey, chime in, listen down below, leave comments, because we're all here to learn how to use this thing. I'm sure somebody else has tried calzones. I'm not the only one, I'm assuming, or something. All right, let's check it since I have you guys here. There we go. Okay, so we're starting to get brown. There we go. Ow. Oh, great. That's my job. Ow. Hmm. I'm thinking, um, whoops. Let's see if I leave it in there for one to two more minutes. Then the 10 minutes, I'm thinking 510 minutes because the bottom isn't brown black like the other one. <laughs> but I have to admit, I did eat it. It was so good. <laughs> and I made homemade sauce, uh, pizza sauce, but it's a bit... I needed to add some like baking soda and uh, maybe uh, like a pinch of sugar or something in that recipe. It tastes just a little burnt, I'm thinking. So I would definitely, you know, from Chef John's uh, recipe, definitely make sure you have baking soda and um, add just a little bit of sugar to it. The flavor, the flavor is pretty good. I probably would add a little bit more oregano and I want to use real garlic. And the anchovies, you don't even know they're in there. Honest to goodness, you don't know. I'm so nervous about this. I don't, I don't want it to burn. Oh. oh, we're getting a nice color now. Look at this. That's beautiful. So I'm thinking, uh, whoops, you guys can't even see it. Probably like nine, nine minutes. But I'm gonna cut into it to make sure it's cooked all the way through. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. As you guys can all see, the kitchen is a disaster. <laughs> so I'll uh, show you the bottom. So the bottom looks good. So I think we might have mastered this as one, come on flies. That's what you get for leaving the door open. So I'm gonna cut right into this. There we go. And look at that. Woo, oh, that's hot, 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 hot. That is gorgeous. Hmm. 
it's like 97 degrees. Yeah, everything's melted and everything, so the dough appears to be done. So yeah, I think that is gonna be good. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Let me bring it down here. Who's in Greece? Oh yeah.